Hi everybody, welcome back to Making Stuff with Mrs. Brody. I'm Mrs. Brody, and today we're going to be making silhouettes. Now a silhouette is an art term, and it means the outline of something that could be just the outline, or it could be filled in solidly with black, and it's usually in front of a bright background. So, a silhouette of me, all you would see is the outside edge of me, and it would all be one color, and then the background would be nice and bright. So I'm going to show you probably three or four examples of that to kind of inspire you to do your own silhouettes at your house. Okay, let's get started. All right, ladies and gents, here's an example of a silhouette that I painted. On here I have watercolor paint and I used acrylic paint. And you can see, just like the definition told us, I have a light background and then my silhouette is black. Now, looking at this, what do you think I painted first? Did I paint the background with the colors or did I paint the silhouette first? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, if we get a little bit closer, we should be able to see kind of my nice crispy-ish edge of my buildings. And I can't see any really brush strokes of where the color ends. So this tells me, if I wasn't the one that painted this, that my brush strokes went all the way across the paper. So I definitely did the background first and then I did the silhouette. This helps push that silhouette forward and pushes the background backwards. And I just followed the color wheel and did a rainbow. So it kind of looks like a, a sunset or a sunrise. I did yellow, and you don't see a whole lot of it, just a little bit right there. Yellow, then orange, and then I went into reds and pinks, purples, and then just a little bit of blue, okay? And when I did the silhouette, what I did, because I'm awesome and I've done it a lot, is I went through with a pencil and I drew in the edges of my buildings and then I painted it with a very tiny paintbrush. What you might want to do if you're a little nervous because you painted that background and you don't want to ruin it, you could take a separate paper and you could draw on whatever your silhouette is, in this case it would be my buildings, and you could draw in that outline, cut it out, lay it on your paper and trace the outline and then go back and paint it. Now, some people are looking at this and saying, Mrs. Brody, I don't think that looks a lot like buildings. I think it looks like blocks. I think it looks like boxes in my pantry. Okay, for me, if I wanted to make it look more like buildings, I could add some details on top, or maybe I could make some airplanes or something flying by to make it look like a city. If I want it to look more like maybe blocks stacked in my window, I could do some more lines here to make it look more like a window, or I could add some other toys in there. It's up to you. And this is just regular old watercolor paper. You can tell I had color on the sides there. My little black got a little out of control too. Okay, nice small little piece. This is a nice practice piece. I don't necessarily think I would frame this, but maybe if I added some more details and someone really liked it, I would give it to them as a present. Now this is sort of the opposite of what a silhouette usually is, but in art, once we know about the rules, we can break them a little bit. So we know that a silhouette's supposed to have a light background and then a dark or black um, outline and then filled in. This is sort of the opposite. We have a black background and then we have our leaves all over. But I still think of this as a silhouette because we're only looking at like the shape of the leaves. These ones look like green beans to me. <laughs> it means silly leaves there. So we're only looking at the outside edge. I don't have any other details in there. So this kind of like a silhouette still. I could come through and add in some lines to make it look like it was on a tree or a bush or in a garden. Could be anything. And this is just a regular old piece of construction paper. And I took, uh, I think it was an old manila envelope thing, and I drew on my leaves and colored them out. And then I cut them out. And when I cut them out, I was very careful and made sure you couldn't see any of the paper around the edge. So that's another example of a silhouette you could do. Now this final one, I'm kind of combining both of those things in. So this is just a note card. And I took, again, that same manila folder and I drew these flower shapes. And if you look closely, not perfect. You can kind of see some of my lines that I messed up a little bit. It's all good. And I cut them out, but instead of just taping them down, I took a little bit more of that material and turned it into kind of an accordion or a fan. And I taped one end to the paper and I taped the other end to the flower. So now it kind of sticks off the paper. Boing, boing, boing. I think if we put it on a, a wall and it stuck out, that would look kind of cool, right? We wouldn't necessarily be able to put this in a frame because then they'd be smushed down. And this guy, I didn't make it quite as long. He's got kind of a short stubby accordion. Okay, 
So just some ideas for you to choose from. You could go with the traditional silhouette sort of thing and do your light background with the black on top, or you can go rogue, break the rules a little bit and do a black background with a color on top. Maybe for this, instead of leaves, I could have done a rainbow on top of it. Hmm, what do you think about that? Whatever you decide to do, definitely take some pictures if you're in my class, send them up to our Google Classroom or have your parents email them to me. I definitely wanna see your work. And as always, please make sure you're being safe. Wash your hands, take care of yourself and your families. Um, be kind, for sure, and definitely be creative. Send me all your stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!